Hello guys and welcome to my team of the year Iniesta uh, review. We're going to be reviewing his car today, guys. So this is the team that I am playing with it, playing him in. It's just a Liga BBVA team that I've put together. Uh, Pepe and Miranda centre back. Fabio Contra. Uh, okay. Uh, right. He's got four star skill. 79 pace, 76 shot, 99 passing, 97 dribbling, 71 defending, and 60 heading. These are beast stats, guys. Uh, yep. So I picked him up for, I think, 999,000 coins, which was pretty cheap at the time. So we're going to hop in and have a look uh, at the in game stats in a minute, and then we're going to compare him with his normal 90 rated. Card. So these are the in stats, in um, in game stats, guys. If you want to have a detailed look, just pause the video. But the standout stats are all his passing and crossing stats because he's kind of a playmaker. He likes to string the balls over to the defenders. He's got great dribbling. Don't knock him on his dribbling. He's got the four star skill and the four star weak foot, which helps out as well. So he can go around players extremely easily. So again, if you want to have a look at these stats, just pause the video and have a slower look if it's going too fast for you. But comparing here him here, guys, to his left wing normal card, he's at 90 rated. His team of the year is 96. Again, you can see here all of the boosted stats are his ball, ball control, crossing, curving, dribbling. Most of his stats has been booted, um, boosted. Um, but mostly they're his dribbling and his passing and his like long um, passing and stuff like that. His long shots has been boosted. Um, I'd like his long shots to be in 90, but to be honest, I think that they f that at, the, at the start they felt a bit shabby, but uh, with the start to play, I think his long shots are pretty good. Just sometimes they're a bit inconsistent, but who can knock him on that? If you want to pause the video again to have a look at all of his stats, feel free. I'm going to hop into some clips now of him. I've got Kaka on the penalty at the minute. I'm going to swap over to Iniesta to show you his penalty taking abilities. The green bar in the penalty is pretty big, so he is a good penalty taker to use. I'm just, what I'm going to do here is just a cheeky little... Fake smash it down the middle to fool the goalkeeper for his penalty. Uh, I thought that was a. It was an alright penalty. He's definitely got better penalty abilities than that. By sure, he can go uh, bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right, like that. Um, he is a good penalty taker. On to the next level, popping up in a minute. We've got Iniesta with the brilliant ball to Fabio Contrao. Unfortunately, Martins can't pull any off from that cross, but you see in a minute something will come of this. Iniesta there. You see Iniesta coming in there. Iniesta gets the ball now. Picked up the ball with his 85 long shot, smashes it top left. I think he has got better long shot than 85, but I do think it is a bit inconsistent, and that could be worked on, but by far he has got a long shot. And good interception that is shown there, and definitely his passing skill. A good ball over there by Iniesta to Oberfemi Martins, who just easily slots it bottom left for a good goal there. Great ball by Iniesta, cheeky little chip over the top of the play. Next clip, we've got Iniesta here again, smashing it, hits the crossbar, gets the ball again. Dodgy touch, dodgy touch. Unfortunately, nothing comes of that. Iniesta here again with a beautiful ball. Oh, Benzema, Benzema just chips it over the keeper. Cool as you can get. Brilliant ball by Ben, uh, not Benzema, Iniesta. Beautifully weighted and a brilliant finish on the volley by Benzema. That's probably the best ball I've actually played of Iniesta um, so far. Good ball there by Iniesta, ben Benzema. Doing a good finish there. Finesse to the left side of the goal with the bird celebration. Um, but yeah, I've really noticed that Iniesta is a great passer of the ball, which he is in real life. He is a playmaker. He can dribble around players and create goals for himself. I've scored a lot of goals with him um, whilst I've been playing with him. But I, I wouldn't say... Well, I'm playing him centre forward because I wanted him to get more involved with the game. And that is the only downfall, guys, that I say with him. Sometimes, where it's considering where you play him, he may not get into the game enough. Iniesta here with a brilliant ball over to over Femi Martins, who's free in the middle, who unfortunately puts it over the bar. But, um, Iniesta, my phone is ringing here, guys. Let me just pause that. Uh, Iniesta, ball to Iniesta, Iniesta into the box, and who is that? That was Ozil. Ozil, the small German man, puts it into the uh, to the corner. 
So a good goal there. This is good crossing ability there shown to Ozil. Just puts it into the back of the net here. See my opponent's pissing out out of the back. Benzema plays the ball. But in 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 the Esther picks up the ball there and just slots it cool. Hits the post and goes in. Great finish by Iniesta. His finishing has definitely been boosted as well. But, but don't don't knock him by playing him centre forward or striker or something like that. Or I can you play him striker? I don't know. We'll move him to centre forward and play him striker or something like that. He could be a good strike striker. He just lacks the pace a bit. Um, maybe sometimes on them breaks. He's only got 79 pace, I think. I can't remember, but he I think he's definitely a good player. Don't knock him on that. Iniesta here with the corner to Miranda. I think that was Miranda just putting it over the bar. Iniesta for the corner a couple of minutes later. This time to Pepe. Pepe gets it into the back of the net with a great header. That I'm not. Yeah, Iniesta has got great corner and free kick ability um, and stuff like that. His free kicks uh, are probably the weaker, weaker bit of him. He doesn't have that great free kick stats, but uh, but here you see he's showing off his dribbling ability, going around a few players and just puts it, not the powerful shot, but uh, into the goal. His shot power isn't too great, actually, guys. Um, it's, it's fine, it's like usable, but I like it to be a bit more powerful but he is but he is a great player to play with he'll score you goals create goals and do stuff like that i one thing i would like to say about him i wish his maybe his defensive work rate was a bit lower because sometimes when i'm on the break i'd like him to be there to kind of get the play moving get the play going with the with the good balls they can produce like that over to kaka kaka unfortunately putting over the bar um, good balls like that, but sometimes because his defensive work rate is medium, I think it is. I think it's medium. Um, oh, great goal there. But, you know, uh, it's not a massive thing that you can, like, knock him on. It's definitely deal, like, deal, like, you can deal with it, basically. So, yeah, that's the end of the clips, guys. Overall, I would rate the Iniesta a 4.5 out of 5. He's definitely not a 5 star player because there are faults with him. Personally, for me, but if uh, if you want to pick him up and give him a try, uh, be my guest. Yeah, so I'm going to give him a four out of five. He can be a bit inconsistent of sometimes, but most of all, I'd say he is a brilliant player. Uh, his long shots can also be a bit inconsistent, and sometimes he's not up there when you'd like him to be up there. But overall, I'd say he is a brilliant player for the price tag. Maybe a little bit lower. Personally, I don't think anyone's really worth a million on this game, but that's just my opinion. So thanks for watching the review, guys. If you've liked it, please like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and goodbye.